This is One on One. Aisha Glover, President and CEO, Newark Community Economic Development Corporation. Aisha, let me ask you, this voice summit means what to the city? It means a lot to the city. It's putting us on the map in a different way. It's really exciting. You can feel the energy to have this many people descending upon the city. Uh, we were shooting for 1,500. We're now at 2,400. What? So yes, it, now we're at a moment of, oh my goodness. Was this the place to be? Sure? This was the place to be. This because. was the only place to be. Um, NJIT just really playing a lead role in educating the next generation around all things tech and STEM related. And then they also built this brand new gorgeous facility, um, a wellness and event center. But this is the exact type of events that they had in mind when, we were, when they were building it. So. Um, Besides being in a great institution, just being in a city like Newark with the tech infrastructure, with the vibe, everything, it's its the perfect storm, really. We'll, we'll do the vibe in a second. Go back. You said something okay. before that. Yes. The tech infrastructure. Yes. We've talked to Dr. Joel Bloom, president here at NJIT, about that. From your perspective, what is the tech infrastructure and why is it even relevant to a discussion of economic development? For sure. Um, I usually joke and say that we're built for this we have the, the backbone. Um, the fact that Broadridge moved from Jersey City, Broadridge mm. is the country's yeah. largest fintech firm, moved from Jersey City to Newark just because of the data and tech infrastructure where every nanosecond makes a huge difference for business and for their bottom line. Um, our internet speeds are unmatched across the country. Uh, and so leveraging that, tapping into that, to think about how we attract corporations, um, attract events like this, and really make sure that we're kind attract of at media. the epicenter. For sure, for sure. Is, is, is it largely a marketing and branding effort? It is, um, especially for a city like Newark that hasn't always had the best reputation, right? People don't always think about tech. They don't always think about innovation. They, they don't think about other things They think about those other things. Those who don't know. Right? Exactly. Those who don't know. So, so those events who think like funny. this. Right. Sorry, I don't believe <laughs> Give us an opportunity to, to help rebrand the city and make sure people are clear on everything we have to offer. You know, we're doing this, um, we're doing these interviews here at the Voice Summit at NJIT. The whole Amazon question sure. is out there. Sure. Right? Nork's in the game. We are. Very much so. so mm. See, it may or may not. We don't know what's going to happen, right? Fair to say? Fair to say. But to be in the game, yes. to be in that game, yes. what all the cities, all the regions, all the places across the country means what? Nork stands out. Newark stands out, not just on that list of 20 cities across the country. There's something that Amazon saw in the city that maybe others haven't, right? And so just being on that list uh, sends a very, very powerful message. Um, we're frequently saying, you know, if you're checking all the boxes in business school about, you know, where you should cite your company, you're looking at talent, you're looking at location, you're looking at accessibility, transport, all those factors, right? Newark is it. But the moment you say Newark, folks are like, oh, really? Yeah. And that's part of the Yes Newark brand that we've been trying to push out and make sure folks understand. Hey, so let me ask you this. How do you attempt to ensure that the technological boon, if you will, the economic development going on downtown, everything happening around us, the fact that this is going on here, that Amazon Alexa sponsored this event here at NGIT? You know the question. Yes. How do you get it out? to the neighborhoods. In my old neighborhood in the North Ward of right. Newark, Ironbound just down the uh, street, the Central Ward, the right. South Ward, the West Ward. Yep, you have to make it real. Struggling communities. Absolutely, we have to make it real. And I think that having leadership like the mayor's where it's very much front of mind, it's not an after the fact, oh, and then how do we take care of the neighborhoods? It's front and center and we're thinking about this um, right from the beginning. So a great example are all the digital kiosks that are going up around yeah, the city. Down. What are they and why is it relevant to community folks? Sure. So the digital kiosks are um, uh, currently in London and in New York City and now going to be installed in Newark starting this fall. And so they're kind of these monstrous kiosks that will line the streets that provide 
free public Wi-Fi, information, and really bringing the smart city components to life. So we could do everything from monitor uh, air quality to traffic sensors and really uh, provide communication to the community. So the fact that those are going up, not just downtown, but along the corridors I was asking, and in neighborhoods. Ward, absolutely. And that was very purposeful, very intentional, making sure that we're bringing that information and those that level of resources and free Wi-Fi to the community is kind of a no-brainer. So making sure that visually people see the impact and feel the impact and it's not just kind of lip service. You know, what else is really interesting is for those of us who, who know the city pretty well, you know that we are in an area, University Heights, if you will. From your view, Aisha, what is the role of institutions of higher learning in driving economic development? So we sit in the center of the country's largest talent pool and the most diverse. So Rutgers, year over year, is ranked the most diverse the university. US News and World Report says it every year. That's it, you got it. So I'm preaching to the choir. Yeah, right, right? I know I am the choir. <laughs> but tell, tell other folks. So what that means is really access to talent and a diverse pool of talent in sectors that don't always have the best reflection of diversity. So that becomes even more critical for tech, even more critical for a company, let's say, like Amazon, um, to make it's sure attractive. that they're, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's very attractive and it's necessary and it's why folks really believe that they're even searching for a second headquarters, that you know it's really a talent play. And so we have the, the largest and the best talent right here in the city of North. Aisha Glover is an ambassador for the city. She, her official title is a president and CEO of Newark Community Economic Development Corporation. Aisha, I want to thank you every time thank you, you join so us. Thank you so much for having me. We not only learn something new, we appreciate the city even more. Thank appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Stay with us right after this. We'll be back. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato at NJIT has been provided by NJIT, RWJ Barnabas Health, Delta Dental of New Jersey, Valley National Bank, Verizon, the law firm of Gibbons PC, and by Adler Aphasia Center. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.